This, my friend, is how you start a day in the Alps. Three and a half thousand meters, having coffee and cake. It doesn't get much better than this. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face And I see something shimmering in your eyes And they say if you want to glimpse the future, you need space And you said you'll put down your morning guns Would you follow? Find it hard to not give in So the days became weeks It felt just like the night before You were slowly fading in my mind What better way to start a morning in the Alps once again? It is absolutely incredible. I've just come back from three and a half thousand meters having a coffee and cake in the Alps. It's the highest point you can get in Tyrol. Tyrol is a district in Austria, beautiful location. Anyone coming to Austria should really check it out. There's quite a few people up there that didn't vlog it, it's a little bit embarrassing. There was some walkers coming back from the mountains, which was really cool to get a perspective of actually how big the Alps is. Not that you can ever truly understand how big it is until you come here. I shot some photos up there, basically tried to use telephoto to get as close as possible. Convert it to black and white because there's great contrast right now. The visibility you can see as far as possible. I'm heading back down now, getting the train back down. Hopefully, see some more waterfalls and whatever the valley has to do, but. This is how you start a day in the Alps. It's absolutely incredible. The tough life of a travel photographer. It's happening, I'm getting that mountain glow. I've got to rush, let's go. Oh my God, this light is epic. The sky is on fire right now. This is impeccable. Uh, all the madness, all the rush is totally worth it. I'm fully set up now, just waiting for each moment to pop. I've added a polarizer on the front and it's just popped that little bit more contrast out in the sky, exactly what I'm after. I'm having to stand in stinging nettles, so it's absolutely painful, but right now I do not care. This image is absolutely incredible. I've waited so long for this in the Alps. 
I finally, finally got it. It's gonna be good. This is why it's so important to location scout. This morning I got up, it wasn't good enough to shoot, but I still come out at about 6.30, 7 o'clock. I scouted this location and another location. I was able just to walk here right now, get the composition I wanted straight away. I didn't have much time, got the image, and my God, I got the result. I've just hit record on the camera. I'm gonna take you through the composition I scouted this morning. It's a pretty simple composition. There's a church right in the middle and all the mountains lead in towards the valley. It's a very simple composition. Zoom right up to compress the background right into the foreground. This morning was a nice image because it was very scattered between. You could see the petitions of the mountains going back. I kind of like that. I've always wanted to capture an image like that. But right now with the sky, it, it's as good as it's gonna get, I believe. This sky is just on fire right now. I'm not gonna hang around for the church to light up or anything tonight because I think the light from the sky is too bright. It's just perfect the way I wanted it. So as always, with the sky perfect as I want it, the camera set up, two second timer as always, take that shake, very important now I'm zoomed up, let the image just roll for itself. This is what's called being greedy. This is the other location I sussed out this morning. The way I was shooting was sort of 90 degrees to where the sun was setting. This is directly behind where the sun was setting. And when the sky is just popping like that, there's no way I could resist. It's not the image I want. I want the sun coming into the mountains, but hey, look at the sky, I couldn't resist. Composition wise, I'm going a little bit wider than what I'd normally plan to shoot this morning. So I'm shooting about 35 mil. The reason being is I've raised it up to get the full sky in there. Cause normally the sun would be coming directly behind me into the mountains. So I want to zoom right up and capture the tiny little village and the huge, ma uh, huge mountains in the background to compress that image right up. Right now I'm shooting 35 mil polarizer once again. 18 to 135 XF on the XT1. I'm still bracketing, but I'm bracketing at minus one to zero to minus two because the sky is just so bright. Then doing a following single exposure at plus one for the foreground. Once again, I'll blend that in. I just haven't got time to put a half grad on. I literally rushed around here, driving sensibly to catch this image. This is what I've been waiting for in the Alps and the Alps just goes from here to the next level like this. This is absolutely incredible. Okay, just a quick recap for me today. Today's been a pretty hectic but slow day, doesn't go well together. This morning we were up early, went to three and a half thousand meters, which was incredible. Got a coffee, got some amazing views, but for the next two days, we're going to Italy. We're going to drive into Italy, it's about one and a half hours drive. So today we had a quiet day. We had a bit of an adventure morning, pretty quiet afternoon, just went for a drive. But in the afternoon, I looked outside and the sky was just ready to pop. It, it was so ready to pop. Went out, and the only reason I got my images tonight, the only reason was because I location scouted. I didn't shoot sunrise this morning, but I still went out. As I've never been to this part of the world, I had to location scout. I knew some images I wanted to capture when we drove past them, but come back, set the tripod up, set the camera up, and got these images. They're nothing special, but I knew, looking into the future, when that light was right, those images were going to be exactly what I wanted. The first image, I just pulled the weeds out of the ground because I knew I wanted to stand there. The second image, I'm just on a dirt track here. I marked the road because I knew when I come back, like tonight, I was in a rush, but I got that image that I wanted because I knew my f-stop, the zoom length I wanted, what, what lens to use. Everything was done, ready to rock up. 
rocked up, the light was right, and got some incredible images. It's so, so important. So please, when you go to a new location or a location where you already live, location scout, get the camera out. Don't just think, hmm, that's gonna work well at this time of hour. No, get the camera out, get the lens out you want, everything. Set it up like you normally would and take that image. Take it home, put it on a computer and look at every fine detail because there's two trees in the background here which you'll see in this image tonight. When I shoot sunrise, I don't want those trees in there. I want that village to look so small. So please, location scout, location scout. But the next two days, we're off to Italy. It should be very good. The weather tomorrow is meant to be absolutely on point. After that, it's Austria, it's the Alps, it's gonna rain, but it's okay. That is all from me now. Get out there, keep exploring, keep shooting, keep adventuring. Ciao.